What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here, and welcome to this guide to the cheapest high potential right midfielders and right wingers in FIFA 15. Uh, these articles are going to be perfect for uh, teams on a budget because every player in the lower league gem series uh, costs a maximum of £1 million and if they're not available in the first window then uh, there'll be a maximum valuation from your scout of £500,000 so you know that by the time they do become available in January that they're going to be nice and cheap still. Um, before I get started I just want to say thanks to everyone who entered my most recent scouting contest. Once again I was blown away with the entries, um, absolutely amazing and every time I do this it seems to get bigger and better. I had more and more entries this time, I had somewhere between 50 and 60 different people entering really really good and uh, the winners were just incredible they uh, had to pick a joint first place um, because the, the two players were just so good I couldn't choose between them there's an 80 rated player straight out of the academy I've never seen that before and the other winner was a 16 year old rated 79 I've never seen a player that young rated that high as well so um, I had to choose a uh, joint winner like I said um, but every entry was really really good thanks so much to everyone who entered and uh, Anyway, let's get on with this uh, video, so uh, make sure you um, head over to my website if you want to see the full article because today I'm just uh, just going to have a look at my recommendations, so on the website on fifascoutingtips.com there'll be every player in the game with a uh, minimum potential of 76 and a maximum cost of £1 million, they're all sorted by position as well so it's easy to find the type of player that you're looking for. So let's have a look at who I'm recommending today and first of all we're going to start with uh, uh, sorry with Serge Gnabry, now he starts at 70 overall. He's got 82 potential and he's 18 years old. He plays for Arsenal. Uh, as you can see, the scouts valuation of him is £1 million. So usually you'd expect his price to be pretty high based on that. But no, if you send an inquiry to Arsenal, they just want £975,000. Less than your scouts valuation, which is quite rare really. So in the end, you can get him for around about £750,000. His wages are £15,000, he's got a four year contract and he's right footed with a three star weak foot, three star skill moves and he's also got the flare trait which lets him do extra flicks and passes, that kind of thing. Um, now, for the aside from the obvious reason why I chose this guy, his really high overall, his high potential and his young age so you think that he can get probably above his potential as well with that kind of starting overall. Aside from that, if you just look at his technical stats, he's got some really good things going for him. Very, very fast. Within a couple of years, I'd expect him to get the speedster speciality, but very good balance and dribbling as well. So he can use those in combination to get past defenders very easily as well. Uh, his crossing is good, and so is his passing. So he can uh, he can set up his teammates. He's not just good uh, with the ball at his own feet. He can supply his teammates, and he's got decent shot power as well. So he can score you a few goals too. So uh, that kind of price for this um, a player rated that high, it's very unusual. So it's a very good idea to take advantage of that if you can. And then the next one we've got is Federico Bernardeschi and he starts at 70 overall, he's 81 potential and he's 20 years old. He is a player that I've mentioned before in my uh, my series on the best players uh, by position in FIFA 15, best high potential players and I'm mentioning him again because he is just so cheap and uh, he plays for Fiorentina. now. Your scouts value of him is 1.3 million pounds, so it sounds like he's going to be worth around about 4 million pounds, something like that. But no, if you send an inquiry to Fiorentina, they actually come back with a price of zero pounds. And there are a few players like this in the game. For some reason, they're completely free, even though their contracts aren't expiring. But yes, he is zero pounds. So just go ahead, submit a bit of zero pounds, and it'll be yours. Uh, his wages are £20,000, uh, so they're a little bit higher, but with that, with that, when you consider that there's no transfer fee at all, um, that's cancelled out completely, so I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, he's got a three-year contract, left-footed with three-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. He's also got the flare trait, and he also has a long shot taker trait. Now while he's not quite as fast as Serge Gnabry, uh, he is slightly better technically so his ball control and dribbling a little bit higher, his finishing is higher, so is his passing as well. So if you want a player who's really really good with the ball at his feet, can do all kinds of different things, uh, this is your guy. He's also got decent shot power and long shots so don't be afraid to shoot from distance with him as well. Uh, so like Gnabry he can chip in with a few goals as well. And uh, for zero pounds he really is hard to ignore, I really would even if you don't want him you could take him on and then sell him later for a profit so it's absolutely worth it with this guy uh, but if you think that the wages of these two are a bit high uh, this is a good option now we've got Maurizio Tevez he starts at 67 overall he's got 79 potential he starts at 17 years old although he does uh, go to 18 very quickly just so you know he plays for Newell's in uh, in Argentina his uh, valuation is £500,000 from your scout but uh, send off an inquiry and they'll come back with a price of £775,000. Um, uh, so you can get him for around about £550,000. Pretty good price for him. 
and his uh, wages are three thousand pounds so nice and cheap there he's got he's a uh, right footed with a three star weak foot and three star skill moves he's also got the long shot taker trait so uh, one thing about i like about this guy is he's got a very high overall for a very young age so i reckon he can get way beyond his 79 potential if you play him enough and he plays well enough um, and aside from that though, he's got some very nice stats as well, he's very fast, uh, very good balance as well, just like Gnabry, and uh, good dribbling and ball control, so uh, he's going to be good at taking the ball around uh, opposition players. But like Bernadeschi, he's got decent passing, decent long shots and shot power, and uh, these are only going to get better as he grows towards that potential, and like I said, potentially past that 79 as well, so up into the 80s. And um, he's also much cheaper than you'd expect. With a £500,000 valuation, you'd think he'd cost at least £1.5 million, that sort of range. But £725,000, you can get him for even less than that. Uh, so he's a very good option if you've got a little less money to spend. And my final option is uh, Clinton and G. Now he starts at 67 overall, 77 potential, and he's 20 years old. Plays for Olympic Lyon in France. Uh, Scout's valuation of him is £575,000, but for some reason they only want £300,000 for him. So you can get him for around about £200,000, maybe a little bit higher. His wages are £9,000, it's got a five year contract, right footed with three star uh, weak foot, four star skill moves, and as you can see, he's also got the speedster speciality because he is the fastest player here that I'm recommending. 92 acceleration and 92 sprint speed, that is unbelievable, as well as that 83 balance, um, 83 agility, sorry, and 85 balance. Um, very difficult to get hold of uh, by defenders and for just £300,000 you don't expect to get that kind of pace for the player and very high potential as well but also 70 ball control and 74 dribbling so he's going to be absolutely fantastic at taking the ball around defenders especially in lower leagues where you're more likely to be able to afford this kind of player uh, that's going to be really really good combined with his four star skills as well very rare to have that at lower leagues so he's going to be devastating at that kind of level uh, very powerful shot as well, decent shot power, uh, decent passing as well. So um, like the others, he's going to be good at creating chances for others, but also creating them for himself. So for £300,000, you can't really go wrong with a player like this. So those are my recommendations. I'm now going to sim forward three seasons so you can see the type of players that they develop into. Okay, here is Serge Gnabry after three years of growth. He's now 75 overall, and uh, his ball control and dribbling have gone up really nicely, almost up to 80 now, 79 and 78 respectively. He's still very fast, so with that combination, he's going to be very good at taking the ball around defenders. But I also like that his vision and his short passing have gone up well, um, so he can now uh, set up his teammates very well, and he could do well as an attacking midfielder if you didn't want to play him on the wing, uh, where he can be effective there as well. So a very good player there for a very good price. And talking about a good price, you've got Bernadeschi up next. Remember, he was completely free. And like I said earlier on, he's uh, he's better technically than uh, Gnabry, although not quite as good physically. But if you look at his technical stats, he's very good all round in a lot of different areas there. Very good long shots and curve and shot power as well, so he can be scoring, scoring goals from distance. But his ball control, 83, and dribbling, 79. That's really fantastic. Get the ball under control quickly and take it around defenders very easily as well. So he's a very good all round technically astute player. And then next up we've got Maurizio Tevez. Unfortunately he didn't grow very much this year, it's a bit disappointing, but I wouldn't worry about that because it's very, very rare that this happens. Um, but anyway, regardless of that, he's now 72 overall at 20 years old. He's the youngest of these players, still got loads of growth to go, but um, very young age as well, so loads of time to do it. So I'd, um, I'd be very confident about him uh, growing up towards that potential and growing higher as well. Good ball control and dribbling, that's his uh, strength really and very good pace. So just like Gnabry, can be a very good player to take the ball round defenders. And uh, like I said, because he started off with such a young age, he's got a very good uh, chance of exceeding his potential as well. And then finally we've got Clinton and G. And just look at that dribbling and ball control, what a, what a combination that is, 83 dribbling, he's almost got the dribbler speciality and uh, still extremely fast so that's going to be so effective, uh, especially in lower leagues, he's just going to be devastating there. Very powerful shot and his finishing is going up decent decent amount as well so he's now going to be scoring your goals I'd imagine but also good crossing as well so like the others he can set up his teammates as well and for £300,000 uh, a really great bargain. So those are the uh, players which I would recommend today. Head over to fifascoutingtips.com where there'll be all the players, uh, not just these four, but every player uh, who's got a minimum potential of 76 and a maximum cost of £1 million. If you've used any of these players, uh, let us know what you thought about them. It'd be really good to see how they did for your team. But as well as that, if you've got a player 
who is really really cheap but isn't in this video then we'd like to hear about that as well so uh, leave a comment for that as well and um, I've just finished the scouting contest for the last month but keep sending your entries because I'll be doing it again in December so you can uh, send a picture of your best scouted player in the academy or just after they've been promoted send it to at FIFA scouting using the hashtag scouting god or you can uh, take a picture and put it on the uh, FIFA scouting tips Facebook page that's facebook.com slash FIFA scouting tips or you can leave a uh, link in the description uh, sorry in the comments below or you could leave a link uh, on fiverscoutingtips.com whichever way you want to do it make sure you enter that before the end of December and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.